The Bayfront Convention Center was packed this evening for a celebration like none other, highlighting the accomplishments of community schools and partners. Tyler Gallagher tells us more about this important partnership that's helping students succeed. Tyler. Thanks, Jen. The United Way of Erie County came to the Bayfront Convention Center today to celebrate a year of achievements across local public schools. On a normal day, the United Way of Erie County looks for ways to improve local public schools, but Wednesday, the United Way came to the Bayfront Convention Center to celebrate some of their accomplishments, including the recent addition of Erie High School as their 17th community school. The students have had a continuum of communi community school supports through from K to 8th grade, and when they get to ninth grade, they didn't have those supports before, so now we're able to expand that and make sure that they continue to have those really important supports they need to ensure they're ready to learn. Polito says the United Way will analyze the needs of Erie High School students to give them the proper educational support they need. Just a little earlier, all these seats you see behind me were filled with hundreds of people coming to United Way's assembly this year. And the United Way president says this year's event is much different than prior years as they are celebrating a special achievement. This was a big celebration of the launch of Erie High as our 17th community school. There's nothing like it from this year to past years. We totally blew it up. We wanted to do something different. We wanted to do something fun and energetic and engaging. Root says four United Way directors have already been located to Erie High who are working on enrichment programs and other ways to support the students. The assembly also brought in the president of the Institute for Educational Leadership as the keynote speaker who highlighted the efficiency of Erie's educational system. Erie is unique because they have a K through 12 model. So there's a real continuum of care. When you think about hospitals, for example, they understand there are social determinants of health, but there are really social determinants of education too. And when you have really intentional partners with communities like you see in Erie, magical things can happen. And after the assembly, attendees were invited to a reception to enjoy food, wine, and conversation. Also at today's assembly, Tim and Lisa Nicastro received the Tocqueville Award for their philanthropic leadership in the Erie community. Back to you, Jen. 